Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Atri and on this channel I post videos related to literature, especially English literature, uh, mass media studies and uh, general English as well as I sometimes post um, uh, motivational videos also. So I hope you are liking the content on my channel if you are coming for the very first time. Make sure you are subscribed now without any further ado, let's get started. So in today's video, I am going to talk about how to be an efficient teacher. Okay, now so many of us want to become a teacher. So I am from India. So if I talk about India, in India, even I'll say that more than half the population want to become a teacher. And they think that teaching is a very, very easy job. They think that teaching is as easy as the teaching is a cakewalk for them. So I want to break this notion for those of you who think that teaching is really, really easy. Uh, specifically in India, anyone can be a teacher. So I remember when I used to be, when I used to live uh, with my parents. So I saw there in every, every locality there is a teacher. Aap kahi bhi jau, there you will find a teacher. So who is a teacher actually? So teacher is someone who not only educates but also enlightens, ignites the love for learning. And if you are not doing that, if you are failing to do that, I'm sorry but you are not a teacher. You are just doing, doing that particular thing because you think that that is the safest option for we women in India. So this notion you have to stop thinking this particular notion. So how you can become an efficient teacher, a teacher who not only teaches but also ignites love for education in a child. So let's see what I think. Now let me tell you something about myself. I have been teaching, I think when I, I, I have been teaching since, <laughs> since a long time, I don't even remember the time actually. Actually when I was in class 9th I used to teach, there were some, there were two students whom I used to teach uh, because I wanted some pocket money so I went up to my dad and I uh, asked him that I want some tuition because I want some pocket money so at that time teaching was equivalent to pocket money because I was in class 9th what do you expect from a student from a girl of class 9th and afterwards after class 12th with my studies I was teaching just to earn my pocket money because I think there is no shame in earning uh, pocket money for yourself and I think in the west if you, if you see people they leave their house, they leave their home after 18 years of age. So that's what I think that made me really, really proud of myself. Any, any, any which way. So I started teaching. So earlier, in my earlier days, I wasn't aware what teaching is. Although both of my parents are teachers and I have seen teachers in my life and I have loved my, I have loved by my teachers. So I know that what a teacher looks for in a child. So I started teaching. Uh, students, I think 8th, 9th level the students say, and I used to teach them everything because at the time I was really good with maths uh, right now I, I don't even remember what maths was because in class 12th I really really practiced hard so I started teaching uh, these students of uh, class 9th and 10th English I, I used to teach till graduation so what I found out in all of these years of teaching is teaching has to be fun like learning has to be fun for the students so you have to you have to incorporate funny things in your lectures in your lesson you have to behave with them as if you are their friends and I know this seems very very easy very very easy to say but literally it takes a lot of time a lot of hard work so I, I'll tell you uh, one incident from my teaching experience. So this was the very first time when I started teaching mass media studies in class 12th. And uh, you know, the students who were there in class 12th, they used to make fun of me. And why? Because I was new to them. This happened only for three, not, not, not even three months, I think for two months. And I was feeling very, very demotivated. But I knew that Today or tomorrow, they are going to love me. And that's what happened because I never gave up. And what I did with them, I am going to share my strategy with you. If you are teaching class 12 or higher 
higher classes and this is what you can do first first of all there will be some students who who will be there just to make your life miserable i also had a few students in my class who wanted to make my life miserable by you know uh, saying many things to me even behind my back so i got to know that what they used to say behind my back but i did not react but one day i very strictly i very strictly told them that what do you think if the school has selected me what do you think i am i not qualified if if i wasn't qualified the school at the very first place they wouldn't have selected me okay if i wasn't if i wasn't that much qualified so they they told me many things that ma'am this and that i we were thinking that you are new how you are going to teach i was very very honest with them and one more thing i learned that never tell 100% truthful things to your student because those are your students yeah you have to pretend that you are a friend to your students but you also have to hide some things you cannot be 100% honest with them regarding yourself but yes there is no denying in the fact that please don't be fake okay please don't fake your smile please don't fake your affection if you are if you are showing affection towards your students let it be real because agar aap fake karoge the students they are smart enough they will understand so there came a point now every day it was a challenge for me because it was a first time i started teaching mass media studies in, in a school uh, on a secondary level but i knew what i have to do because because for because i i really really love mass media i love all the things related to mass media studies so i literally fell in love with the subject even even today when i teach my students i really feel honored because of that particular subject now okay i'm just saying any subject you have taken you have to be very very uh, dedicated towards the subject guys if you want to be an effective teacher so i used to read i used to study the material you won't believe i used to spend all my days in studying that particular material even even when i used to teach english as well even though i know uh, how i'm going to teach english because that's my subject but even then i prepared really really hard just to teach them so don't take granted don't take your students for granted because they are your students they are smarter than you you have to smarter than them uh, so you have to prepare really really well sare questions apne dimag mein soch lo whatever they are going to ask just just prepare a list of all the questions i do that i do that if i am making making a worksheet if i am making something which i am going to give them i know that they are going to ask this particular question so write down the questions if you are first time or if you think that okay i am going to teach this particular topic in a uh, in a class so i have to prepare these questions so be prepared guys be prepared even with the online system of teaching be prepared with everything your ppts your notes because students are smarter than you okay even though aapke pas kitna bhi experience ho you have to prepare notes because you have to be that one step ahead than your students so yeah that's what i i did i i don't know the order of this particular video because i just cannot see a script and talk to you guys i'm just speaking whatever i am feeling i have so much to talk about <laughs> yeah this video is going to be really, really long i can see it's already 10 minutes no problem guys you can have your coffee and snack while watching this particular video because ultimately you are going to gain something out of this video now um one more thing which i did with my students is that i built up a rapport with them and how did this happen so if you see that uh, sometimes there is lunch break and you are given some duty in the school i i was given some duty i have to give duty at some particular uh, area where every day i have to be there in the break so my students they used to come and talk to me so try to build a personal rapport now don't go very personal just talk to them about their hobbies what they like in a very profound manner us manner mein nahi as if you are her teacher not like that you have to become more than a teacher to become a guide just just listen to them what they want to say what they want to say about others what their opinion is what what they think about a particular thing 
and you will see that the rapo is already built you don't have to work that ha that harder because it is very very easy to build rapo with them okay so next time do follow these tips and i'm sure you are going to become a really really effective teacher and all these tips i hope uh, they are helping you let me know how you are liking uh, my content and if you have any suggestion you are more than welcome you can leave your suggestions in the comment section <laughs> and i will be very happy to make uh, videos on that particular topic and that is about it uh, i'm going to take your leave now and see you guys in my next video till then you guys take care bye bye